What's up, my glassy friends? How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. This is Classic Gamer. Can match an episode of Medieval Dynasty. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at this new game, and uh, well, you get my opinions, some thoughts. We're gonna do some building. Uh, it's actually a great game. I've uh, done some playing already, uh, just to kind of learn the game some for you guys. And uh, yeah, so let's get started here. <laughs> All right, here we are. We are in the menu. So we're going to go ahead and pick a new game. You got to see this intro. It's freaking killer. Nice. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> you can do Being it. the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories. I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. That was impressive. What do you guys think of the intro? That is amazing. All right, let's go ahead and start this game. All right, so here we are. We start off in the forest. Uh, let me show you the map here. Ooh, got a got a little inventory. Uh, inventory. Got a tutorial. All right. So we're gonna we start here. Uh, our main town is up in this area. So we're gonna go for a little hike. But before we do, here's a great tip for you guys uh, playing the game for the first time pick up these rocks because rocks are gold <laughs> it sounds silly but it's super hard to find rocks sometimes and uh sticks are easy but rocks man this is a survival game so keep that in the back of your mind uh everything can kill you uh there's animals in the woods there's uh cold uh eventually there's gonna be heat uh for effects uh you can actually just start yourself a little village, uh, hooking up a little waifu, and then, uh, yeah, you can have some kids. I'm not sure how many kids you can have, but you start your dynasty. The classic dynasty. Here we go. Have a little kittens. Let's see what we got here. So I'm not seeing a whole lot of stone on the way here, so I'm just going to keep hiking in here. Pick up some sticks as we go. Pick up sticks. And, uh... We're just going to make our way to the town. This game is still an early access, uh, but it's a very polished early access. I mean, look how freaking amazing that looks. No framiness. I mean, look at that. I could go zip, 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 zip. No frame loss at all. I mean, this game is solid. Not many games can say that when they're at this point. They're usually uh, not optimized or, or this or that. And, uh, I mean, even the plants. I mean, look how great they look. I mean, let's see here. I was just checking my, uh, my, my infra vision here. You get this little vision deal here so you can find things. Uh, you eventually get skills. Uh, let me show you. Okay, let me escape this. So you've got some, uh, you get, you've got a skill tree. Come on, escape. You've got a skill tree. And the way you do this is you just do it. So let's say you want to learn how to... They don't pick up sticks. Well, you pick up sticks. And that's how you gain skills. So let's uh, let's head on into town. I'm gonna keep grabbing the sticks in the way just because we need them. We're gonna need them to build our first place. And you can do farming in this game. You can raise animals. Uh, all these plants and things you can pick. Uh, some give health. Some uh, cure poison. It's just amazing. I mean, look at this. Whoa. 
Hear that? They even got geese, pigs, cows, sheep, everything. Ooh. Oh. And it's, it's not just like an invisible cow. They've actually got it. Heard it. It's invisible. No, it's here. Let me show you. See? They've actually got them. And you can breed them and have little baby calves and keep going. And you can buy them and, uh, you know, start your own eventually. Uh, all the townsfolk, you can uh, you can talk to them. Hey, you got a minute? How's your jam doing? Is it okay? It's hard, dirty. But I can do some cozy things like selling. So it's got like to sell. I'll keep that in mind, Edwin. Hey there, geese. A hey, little duck geese. I don't know what he, what he called it. A gosling. That's what he called it. A baby goose. <laughs> All right, so let's find our guy here. Uh, I'm just following the yellow ex well, this yellow exclamation point. And the cool thing is you're eventually going to start your own little village. So, Unigost, let's talk. Hey, stranger, what brings you to your valley? You don't look like a merchant or some pilgrim. No, I'm not. Resume is me, and I came here looking for the south for my Uncle Lord. Uh, yep, I'll go to that one. You don't look like a merchant. I, I already said that. In this old home, they called him Lorden, the craftsman. The raftsman? Oh, raftsman. Okay. Uh, Lorden? Uh, yeah. He told me once about his life in the river. Oh, that's why they call him raftsman. He, he goes in the river. See, so you're in the right place. That means we can big rafts later? Whoa. A few leaders here, but I'm afraid it's too late. Uh oh. He was a great man, an even better friend. Rasimir and a good craftsman, excellent trader. He made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He ran and built it, as well as some many other shops he could find in the village. Let's see. My mother told me he got wealthy and head north. All right, so there we go. Your uncle got himself killed, my friend. He had this idea of the trade of the German kingdom in the west. Five carts filled with the best iron ore. Wow, that's a lot of carts. Beautiful color linen. Excellent beer. Pulled ten oxen. But he was not fooling around. I can tell you that much. So what happened? How'd he die? His trick was ambushed by bandits. His carters are slaughtered. What? He must have put up a good fight. It took two of them with him to death. So he took two of them down with him. How do you search for him? I buried him myself. Or what's the wolves left behind? Sorry, the embarrassed such news. Well, thanks for burying him. Don't say that. We don't let a Matthew Lord go to waste. And he was the uh, village to go fast. I owe your uncle. He has no intention to join here, so I'm a castling. So my word carries weight. So tell me what you can build here, and you can build it for. Okay, I can. I can make tools and stuff. That's good enough. Let's take a count. So you can have as much land as you want. Not sold, granted for life. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep livestock, and follow your uncle's dream. Serious? I don't land as much as I want? As much as you put good to use, boy. As long as you can pay your taxes. <laughs> oh, taxes. I understand. Do you have any advice for me to start with? You can cut down trees, build your own house, reeds by the river, it'll work. For a roof, do you have some food with you? Not much. If necessary, you could go to several vendors of village, or if you don't have enough money for food, you can always pick mushrooms and look for mushrooms and forest or hunt. Okay. Can I earn some coins? Sure, you can talk to people in the other villages. Maybe they'll pay for your help. Thanks so much for your advice. Time for me to go find the right place. Uh, let me see. I have something special for you. This hammer was used by your uncle to build your house in which he grew up old. What better tool to use your first hammer? Okay. Perfect. You gave me a hammer. It's hammer time. All right, so let's see. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's like, what? Let's throw the hammer over here in slot number five. Let's uh, just uh, equip that, the torch. And uh, we have sticks. Okay, so we're good. All right, let's go. Uh, you be kidding. A quest for what? Wait, what, what? Who are we talking to here? Oh, we need a stone axe. We need to cut trees and get 20 straw and build my own house. Okay, so why is it telling me to talk to a deer here? Hey, do you have a minute? 
Sure, what's up? Nice weather. Oh, plus five. Okay. So that's how you actually build up your reputation with the, the villagers. You just talk to them and say, hey, how's it going? <laughs> All right, so we need to cut some trees down. We need to make a stone axe. Uh, that's why we grab some stones on the way here. And we need to get some straw. So let's go grab some... Wait, is that a stone? No, it wasn't. Sometimes you'll find stones on the ground here, but they're usually in the forest. Uh, it's really hard... Oh, that's a rock. They're really hard to find. I don't know why. You know what? I need an axe. Let's see here. Let's, uh, axe. Let's make a stone axe. Voila, we got an axe. Okay, let's put the axe in the first slot. They're already there. Bam. And uh, I'm going to pick some reeds while I'm here, because that's going to be for the roof. And let me just slurp up some of this tasty water. <laughs> Nummy. All right, and let's see. Any reeds? No reeds. Come on, there's like a whole bunch of cattails here. Where's the reeds? Can I have a reed? Reeds. All right, there's got to be some here. You got to kind of look in the swampy areas. Oh, reed. Oh, I saw that. Reed. Reed. There's some more reeds. There we go. Now we're finding them. I was going to say, they're supposed to be in a swampy area here. There we go. Right along the shore. And we're going to get a bunch because it takes a lot to build a house. Houses are uh, kind of a big deal here. You need, you need them to survive. That's why. And uh, the cool thing is you can actually build houses uh, for future villagers. Uh, you can actually set it up for doing like jobs. So you can say, hey, you, you're a farmer. Go go farm my, go, go my lawn or something. Go farm something. Yeah, like that. So let me go ahead and do that. We'll grab some of this. Uh, let's see how many we hit. How many we would grab? We got forty-two. Probably gonna take a few more, just to have them. I I go through these quite quickly. You'll see in a second. All right, and uh, before I cut trees down, I'm gonna find a location to to put the town. So let's see. All right, that should be good for now. Let's take a look at the map here. So, a lot of people like to put it right next to the starter town. Uh, looks like there's some flat areas here. And... Am I facing around the direction? Yeah, let's go this way. Let's see what we have here. So, if we go over here... I kind of want to stay by the water, yet still... You know, a nice flat area. Let's see. There's a little town across the water, too. All right, what's up here? Is a flat? Is it big enough for, for Glassic Town? This isn't too terrible. What do you think? It is It is kind of flat here, and uh, there's a road that goes through it. This might not be a bad place. You know, I think I'm going to build my house right here. Sounds like a plan. Let's cut some trees down. Swing and a miss. <laughs> now, the way you cut trees down in this game, it's a little bit different. Uh, first, you cut it down. Then you, you know, you strip the barks on it with that one chop. Then you chop it into logs, just like that. So it takes like a extra three, an extra three wax to kind of do that. So let's cut that tree. Come on, maple tree. Sweet. See how it goes down first? Then you go chop. That takes the branches off. Then chop, and you got logs. Just like that. And logs are pretty heavy because they're logs. And uh, that's your base uh, resource that you're going to use for quite a few things. Let me pick up these sticks. Pick up sticks. All right. So should we put our house next to the water or on the other side of the road? Hmm. Let's see here. Let's see if we can build it. Houses. House. Simple house. Oh yeah, we can put it right there. 
I'm, I'm thinking uh, this would be pretty cool. You know, like, uh, let's see how far back we can go. I don't want to go too far back. Yeah. All right. Because I want to kind of have like a little bit of yard. You know what I mean? But kind of have that waterfront property. So let's drop it there. Sweet. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. And then I'll later on, maybe I'll put a wall around the place. All right. So the way you build it in this game is it's kind of different. You first you put down your foundation, then you decide what kind of wall do you want? Do you want it to be a wall? Do you want it to be a window? What do you want it to be? You can follow the template it has here. Like for example, this is a, this has a window on it. So I'm just gonna I'll stay with that. So that's a window, and you can either go with a stone wall, a wooden wall with a window, or you could go uh, you know wattle. I think I'm gonna go with uh, a wood. It'll look a little better. Oh, it says I need resources. I need I need three logs. That I can do. All right, let me do this. Oh, there's one log. <laughs> so what do you guys think of this game so far? You, you liking it? Whoa! Don't walk, don't fall off me. I, I I'm actually really enjoying the game. It's uh I've been playing it a little bit and uh, I think I'd uh like to share it with you guys. So let's uh. Knock this wall in. Again, you got to edit. So you go, your, there's your door. And then you pick what kind. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of stones. Because uh, as you saw, stones are a pain to find. But that'll come later. So we'll do that. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Well, got to get more, got to get more trees. And this is how you build houses in this game. So you can actually customize uh, every one. So you can have, ooh, got to pick that extra room. Pick up sticks. Let's see, we may have, I'm going to actually, uh, whoa, get out of the way of the falling tree. I'm going to put some of these uh, sticks to the roof or whatever. I think it's reeds. There we go. Perfect. Pick you up. Uh, let's build. And these doors just automatically just Hush open. There we go. Make that roof. Nice little thatch roof. That's pretty sweet. There we go. Kind of like we do an arc. We do like a like a wood with a thatch. <laughs> I like it. All right, let me put this up here. There we go. Some sticks up. And your your stamina it runs out really quickly when you're building. You can see why I picked up all these sticks. I gotta, I gotta stop. I gotta take a catch a breath here. All right, that just needs some logs. Let's use up all our sticks. I guess the sticks are just like shoved between the logs. That must be it. Yeah. So we'll use up all our sticks. That'll give us some more weight. Uh, we'll free up weight. And we'll give us more weight. It'll free up some weight, and we'll keep going there. All right. Then we'll go get some logs after this. Man. Yeah, you'll find you get winded really quickly in this game. <laughs> but later on, you can get some skills to increase your stamina. So yeah, that's that's a thing. All right. Let's go get some logs. So that's really what you're missing. All right. Our food is dropping. So ooh, we got a skill. What's our skill? Our skill is in survival, so let's uh, let's drop a point there. Uh, the reason I like to choose this first one over here, check this out. It gives you like a plus one, so the next two are going to be like plus two for survival activities. So whatever I do, I'll get more skills for, which would be great. And uh, let me show you that skill again. And uh, let's go to survival. Oh, that's survival. Then we get here, we'll be able to see the mushrooms and feathers in the specter mode. So that'll actually be a pretty good one to get to. So like when I hit the alt key, uh, I'll be able to see, see how it says like small house. Uh, I'll be able to actually see, to see the plants. Uh, believe it or not, there's little plantains here. And there's a little, uh, even though you, it's hard to see them. Oh, there's a rock there. Take the rock. Yeah, these plants, they're not really marked unless you walk up to them. But once you get that, that special vision, 
you can actually see the plants, which is kind of cool. Whoa, get out of the way. Don't let it fall on you. All right, let's chop that puppy up. Let's knock these and grab some more sticks because we ran out. And we'll keep going. I'm going to clear cut a little area here. Wait a minute, squirrel. There's a rock there. Got to get the rock. I mean, you can see the... They've done a really good job in this game. All right, there we go. Ugh, a rabbit. I don't have a spear. Let me make a spear. Spears. Come, no, I want to make a spear. Spear. There we go. And uh, actually, I want to make a few of them. So let's make four. And we're also going to make a little rabbit trap so we can catch rabbits. Get some food coming in, you know? There we go. And every time you make something, yes, I know. Every time you make something, you actually get a uh, skill just for doing it. So whatever you do, you, you get skill, which is amazing. Let's pick up the sticks. We'll clean up the yard a little. All right. Oh, there we are. All right, let's break out our hammer. Nice. Oh, no, no, no. I wanted... <sighs> I didn't want a waddle wall. Waddle, waddle, waddle. All right, so that's a waddle wall. Uh, I got it up. I forgot to change it. So let me see if I can edit. So you can hit edit. This is a wall. Wood. Bam. Let's try this. Oh, I forgot to change all those. Let's do that back here before I... I can't believe I did that. All right. I was wondering why I was using sticks. And you don't get the resources back, of course. And let's do that. All right. You can uh, you can set to destroy. So there we go. That will fix that. I destroyed my hammer. I fixed it. All right. All right. Let's make a new hammer. Oh. You. And what do we need for hammer? We need a log. Not a problem. Yeah, I know. I'm, let's go get some water. It's it's prompting me. So for water, you just stand in it and just slurp it up. Slurp. And let's see for food. Let's. Uh, I'll eat a couple apples. We got some dry meat here. Got a got a shroom. Ah, we're good on food. All right, so we'll get down. Yeah, let's go get some trees. And I heard the trees do grow back after like two or three seasons or years. Something like that. So, yeah, that's a thing. And uh, being early access, it doesn't have everything in it yet. I mean, I haven't seen horses yet or oxen or usable carts. So for now, we're just we're hauling everything ourselves. <laughs> Whoa, I'm getting encumbered here. Come on. I'll just cut it down and come back for the logs after. I don't want to get too too encumbered. All right, let me get my hammer locked in again. So that's the thing. If you break your hammer, you got to... Well, it would help if I made a hammer first. There we go. Which is kind of unique. Uh, there's no repairing tools. If they break, they just break. So that's, that's how it is. All right, let me slot that. There we go. All right, now we can finish. Bam, let's get that log in there. And let's change that to wood. And let's see. Like that. Wood. Wood. Okay. I'm just double checking everything now. And wood. And... All right, perfect. They all say wood. Yes, I know. All right, let me uh, let me get this. Once we get this uh, house set up, it's actually going to have its own beds. Uh, three beds, actually. Uh, it's going to have its own uh, little cauldron for cooking. And uh, but you, you can only really use that for like the later on things. So it's not really going to use for like right away. You know? All right, there we go. 
Is that more stones? Oh, I picked a good spot. There's rocks everywhere. Could have made a rock house. Look at all the stones. Wow. I could have made a stone house. Maybe. I don't know. It takes a... I don't know how many it takes. I think it takes a boatload. So, uh, there's another one. There's just rocks everywhere. Of course, they're really heavy. All right, let's get our hammer out. I know it's a real simple place to start with, but, you know, that's how the game is. You start off simple, then later on you build. You get to learn new recipes. You get to learn how to make barns. How to do stuff. Later on, you can do some fishing, too. Uh, the fishing here, they use nets. So that's kind of different. And uh, you can actually drop things, too. So let's say you have uh, uh, inventory. Let's say these rocks are too heavy for you. You can just go, bam. You know, like that, see? And then you can pick them up later. No biggie. Saves a little bit of weight. All right, let me cut down some more trees. We're already starting to get there. Look at that. New skill or new level. All right. Let me pick up the logs. Sweet. Get back here. Let's take a look at our skills. All right. So we got a new skill point. We can spend extraction knowledge. And I always like to put the first sets into that first tree branch deal here because it gives you extra points per doing things, which is what you really want. You want to make your put a level up faster, right? There we go. Come on. And uh, you also have seasons. Uh, it's really kind of bizarre. Every three days is a new season. And winter here can be pretty brutal. So if you're not prepared with it, have the right equipment on, you can freeze. Yeah. It's a thing. Ugh, I'm way too heavy. Let me drop something here. Let me drop. Uh, maybe... No, 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 no. Two long. I'll drop two logs. We can come back and get them after. It's not a big deal. Okay, that's a little better. I want to get some stuff here. There's a little mushroom. I'll put you in my pocket. Eat you later. Yeah. I mean, you're nasty looking. But, you know, you, you'll save my life. There's also some foods in this game that can actually poison you or, you know, do bad things. So you got to be careful. Nice. Look at that. We're coming right along. Sweet. Four there. And uh, so let's go get that log. Get my axe out. And you can also uh, dual wield. <laughs> so if it gets too dark. Oh, there's that log I picked up. I dropped earlier. See? You can just pick them up. No biggie. Let's chop that tree down. There we go. Sweet. And this is only the first night, so I mean, we are really, uh, moving a lot. Sometimes people like to just make just a simple waddle and, uh, you know, waddle house. And I wanted to make something look a little better, like a little cabin on the river. It's sweet. And I said, since, uh, since my uncle was a rafter, I think, you know, hey, why not put it on the water? Why not? That'd be pretty cool. Then later on, if we, uh, you know, I don't know if fishing's implemented in the game yet, but uh, I broke my axe. Let me go get some sticks. Oh, my rocks, I mean. Okay, man. Rocks. All right. Uh, let's make an axe. There we go. Make it an axe. I know it's dark. It's really dark. Uh, 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 let's put this in here. Stone X. Perfect. And I am so encumbered right now. But it's okay. Alright, let me take my trusty torch out. And I'm going to drop the rocks again. And drop them. Bam, bam. There. Just to save some space. Or save some weight. Not saving any space. They're just super heavy. Imagine that. Rocks are heavy. 
All right, let's pick up these logs. Some more pick up sticks. Cut these trees down. Timber! <laughs> Ooh, don't go too far. And there are animals in this game, so you're gonna have you're gonna hear rabbits, you're gonna hear uh, all sorts of things kinda like stop in the bushes. And we'll catch them. And there's foxes, deer, all sorts of things. Even bison. Alright, let's see. Can we make a trap yet? Let's see. Trap. Trap. Oh yeah, we can make trap. I'm gonna put a little trap right there for the bunny rabbits. Alright. So they can get in my belly. Let's get some logs here. Almost finished. And what do we need here? Uh, two logs. Oh, two more logs. We got this. Let's switch out our axe. Alright. Perfect. Like I said, a lot of people will start with just uh, the waddle, but, you know, I wanted to make it look better. So, yeah. Give it a little upgrade. Sweet. Alright, let's do that. And... Because that's all we needed. Now, let me uh, finish building here. Wait till you see this. Uh, let me pick up my rocks. Because I don't know what happens when it does that. I am. House is done. Check that out. We've got a couple beds. We got a storage box. We got we got a cauldron. How nice is that? See that? All right, let me put my rocks in here. I'll put my log in here. Whoop! I'll put some sticks in. Well, 61 sticks. No wonder I was overweight. I had all that stuff on me. All right, so I'm just gonna sleep for the night. There we go. It was too dark. All right, so it says we need to make a stone knife and hunt wild animals. All right, we can make a stone knife. That's a, that's a piece of cake. And I believe it sticks. Let's see. Oh, stone knife. Bam. We have ourselves a stone knife. All right, I'm going to put these other rocks back in. And it sticks back in. And uh, there we go. Let's go. Uh, let's go on a little hunt. Can we equip our spear here? Slot. Perfect. All right, we got a little pokey thing going on here. Let's go look for some uh, for some animals. We're gonna get some dinner. Just guys, you gotta just look. All right. And I am definitely gonna pick up these rocks in a way. I must have picked my base in a really good location because there are rocks everywhere. That's not normally the thing. Maybe they just added an update or something. I mean, look at that. They're, they're everywhere. And they're never e everywhere. <laughs> I could have been a rock base. All right, let's see what we have here. Any animals? Let's check our map. Usually you'll find all the animals in the forest, so uh, we should start to see some. And when you find them, they're usually in groups and clusters. Nothing here. Let's try this. I know there's animals uh, over here and over here. But we'll check a quick, take a quick look through here. There's some pigs. Come here, piggy. Give me my bacon. Give me my bacon. Yes, I know. The piggy bit me. Ugh, bad piggy. But I got some bacon. Sweet. Pick up these mushrooms. There we go. And I think there was another pig over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'm just going to scratch down. I'm going to sneak up on it. And... Bam! Oh, yeah! Right in a noggin. 
And it really depends where you hit it to, because if you hit it in the wrong place, it could just run away. Well, deer run away. Pigs don't. The wild boars will just charge straight at you. There are rocks everywhere. This is unbelievable. I have definitely found a place to find rocks. I can make a boatload of money now. <laughs> I can make like stone knives or something. Is that deer? All right, let's sneak up on her. Don't scare it. Let's try it. Bam! Oh, I was too tired. Why am I? Pick up. Let's get some stamina back here. There's another one. Let's sneak up on it. Oh, it saw me. The deer are kind of skittish, like they are in real life. So that's kind of cool. All right, let me uh, pick up that shrew. It's a buck over here. Let's see. Can we sneak up on it? That one doesn't spook the other. All right, so you have to kind of aim high. Oh, come on. That's like right in the face. Yes, we got ourselves a buck. Look at that. Woohoo. All right, let's see if there's any other missions here. Uh, let's see, skills. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to throw a point there. Perfect. Anything? Uh, survivalist. So just survive for a season. Oh, here we go. Let's set this one as the talk to Unighost. So I got a, I got a couple animals now. Uh, let's see which we got. We got 13 meat. It's not, not a whole lot. But... Uh, bam! Oh, I missed. I missed again. Oh, it's gonna be a deer running around with a spear in its belly. Where'd you go? Oh, once they start going, it's really hard to catch them. Come on. Ah, oh, well, that one got away. <laughs> Let's go continue our mission because we want to. We want to make sure that we uh, we gear up and get ready for winter. This winter is gonna be rough. All right, and we're back at base here. So, let me see. Oh, a rabbit trap trip. We caught a rabbit. Sweet. Let's reactivate that. Free food. Free food. All right, let's uh, unload. On the way back, I found a bunch more rocks, so I just picked them up just because. All right, let's toss all them in here. Look at that. 26 rocks. That is amazing. And we got some leather. Whoop. Let's toss all that in here. Are we out of space already? Seriously? Yeah, we ran out of space. We're going to have to do something else. We're going to have to build something. Let's see what we can build here. Can't do storage yet. We still have to raise our technology. All right. Not a problem. We'll just bring our tech up a little bit later. later. So, you know, I think I'm actually going to call it right here. This is uh, definitely been a a fun episode. We got to share a new game together. Shoot. This is Classic Gamer. I'd like to take this time to thank all my viewers and all my subscribers. Thank you all so very much. For that, all of you, this would be a thing. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button comment below. And as always, if you have not done this already, please subscribe and stay classy. Bye bye. Meow.